Hey everyone, welcome back to Winning God's Way Ministries. Today, we're diving into the powerful topic of persistence. We all face challenges and obstacles in our lives, and the Bible offers timeless wisdom on how to persevere. Let's explore some biblical insights on persistence that can inspire and guide us through our struggles. Number one, the example of Job. Job faced unimaginable suffering. He lost his wealth, he lost his health, and he even lost his family. Yet he remained steadfast in his faith. In Job 121, he says, The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job's persistence through his trials teaches us the importance of holding on to our faith even when everything seems to be failing and falling apart. Then number two, let's talk about the faith of Abraham. Abraham's story is another great example. God promised Abraham that he would be the father of many nations, but he and his wife Sarah were childless. Despite the impossibility of it all, Abraham persisted in his faith. Romans 4.20 tells us, that Abraham, who against hope, believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body, which was now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what God had promised, he was able also to perform. Abraham's persistence in trusting God's promises, even when it seemed impossible, shows us how faith and persistence go hand in hand. And then, the Apostle Paul. You know, the Apostle Paul's life was a testament to persistence. He faced numerous hardships, including imprisonment, beating. He was shipwrecked once, yet he remained committed to his mission of spreading the gospel. In 2 Corinthians 4, 8, Paul writes, We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Paul's persistence in the face of adversity reminds us that even when we feel overwhelmed, we are not alone. And we can continue moving forward with faith. <clears throat> what about the Syrophoenician woman? Matthew 15, 22 says, Behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, Have mercy on me, Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I'm not sent, but unto the lost sheep of Israel. But I'm not sent unto her. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it's not me to take the children's bread. In other words, it's not appropriate. And cast it to the dogs. And she said, True, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered her and said, O oh, woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto you even as you will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. This woman was very persistent in the face of much discouragement. 
even from our Lord. This tells me that even when the Lord is withholding from us, it's just to see our persistence. Our persistence will prevail. Let me wrap up. Persistence is not just about pushing through difficulties. It's about maintaining faith and trusting God's plan for our lives. Whether you're facing personal struggles, waiting on a promise, or enduring challenges, remember these biblical examples. Keep your faith strong. Pray persistently and trust that God is with you every step of the way. Thank you for tuning in. And if you found this message encouraging, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might need a boost of perseverance. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on experiences about persistence in your own life. Until next time, keep the faith, stay persistent. Remember, it really is a sin not to win. God bless you. See you in the next video. Praise God.